this will be my topic and the final topic. We're gonna see. Okay, so Sarah and I recently um, found a great YouTube channel that highlighted like the 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 era defined like '90s defining music videos and you know what made. Um, 90s great or like top 90s like uh pop songs rap songs all this good stuff and it really got me nostalgia for 90s and then rock who comes on this podcast and he's got these like crazy cool zebra silver striped glasses with this like blue tint i'm like dude that's so 90s i you know i saw the sign opened up my eyes or something like that i There's saw the sign pretty sure there, it no, opened up my eyes i saw the he's sign wearing, like tinted glasses anyone who knows the 90s knows that that's very 90s glasses so i decided that it'd be a great idea to do a 90s quiz where there is no loser we're gonna well, unless we all lose right but we're gonna collectively work together to see um you know what it is so the way i'd like to do this is assign you guys each a question and then mm-hmm. you're gonna answer it. Oh, he daps it. We, the other people who are not answering it. We can say yes or no. We agree. Um, but um, Agreed, no, yes. it's kind of up to the person. And then we collectively like get the score and see how well we did. All right. So B. I'm gonna start with Steve, and I'm just gonna work my yep. way around. B. First question: Which album mm-hmm. sold more records? Alanis Morissette's "Jagged Little Pill" or Spice Girls' "Spice"? Spice Girls. Yeah, I would spice. I'd, all right. Yeah, they Do were I guess it's disagree. You, I can be like, no. You, you disagree? I agree with Maybe. Spice Girls. Everybody. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think they're like super. Movie. They're huge. They're international. Oh, yeah. They have a fucking movie. Yeah. I was, Alanis yeah. Morissette didn't have a movie. Yeah, that's Do true. I get to yeah. put my input or no? <laughs> that's a really good point. What? Do I get to put my input? No. Yeah, this, yeah. you can put an input, yeah, but Steve to. is the ultimate oh, decider. I think Alanis Morissette did better. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you can. Oh, oh you said you did better. I thought you said you sold. Yeah, sold more. Sold more. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, I like Rocco, which movie won the 1998 Oscar for Best Original Screenplay? Hey, did we get screenplay? to figure out what ha- like what? No, we're gonna we're gonna it? tally it up at the end. This is a quiz. It's oh fuck, fuck, fuck! Damn it! Dude. Okay, which movie won know. the 1998 Oscar for Best Original Screenplay? Titanic or Goodwill Hunting? Oh, that's easy. I think what year? They both yeah, 1998. This is a tough one actually. I think yeah. Was that 99? I guess it came out around the same. Because oh, I can't, I can't put my. I input think they in both it. did too. Is like, this I a feel like they did. This is really good. Okay, let's just go with the Titanic on that one. Then. I was gonna say uh, Titanic won a lot of awards, but Goodwill Hunting was very poet. I thought uh, I saw awards was... on the front of my DVD package for Goodwill Hunting too, though. So I, yeah. so I am confused here. So I'm gonna say Titanic, though. I'm gonna disagree. I think that Titanic was a fantabulous movie, but I think it had a shitty screenplay. Um, oh, and, for I, sp- and I also think that Titanic. Didn't it come out in like 96, 97? I think Goodwill Hunting was later. But we're going to go yeah. with Titanic because that's what we put. But that's my thought. Okay. What event became known as the whack herd around the world? The physical altercation between Steven and Irene on MTV's The Real World? The attack on figure skater Nancy Kerrigan? It was called the what of the world? The, the whack, whack herd around the world. That's for Steve-O, right? No, it's for me. <laughs> It's for me. I'm going to uh, say it's the real world, MTV's world. Because you guys remember he, like, slapped her? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. No, I remember. All right, I'm going to go I with don't. that. I remember that more than I remember the – I don't even know who Nancy Kerrigan is. She was the ice skater. She Like, the girl came out and just, like, whacked her. With, with the ice the, skate? Yeah. No, with a crowbar. Because I've heard that, too. With a crowbar. Uh, and, hit her with a crowbar? Yeah, and the knee. Dude, there's I, a neck was high when this all I think I would. I think I would know. I would have heard about it. I mean, I've heard the MTV one. Yeah. But – I didn't hear that one. All right, Steve. What is Courtney Love's real birth name? Courtney Michelle Harrison or Michelle Love? I would say Courtney Michelle Harrison. That sounds more generic, right? I'd agree yeah. with that. Steve or Rocco? I'm just thinking, like, she might have used part of her middle name, incorporated it into, like, her stage name. I don't know. It's like, do you go with the, just the plain kind of sound? What was the second choice? It was, it was what love? Michelle Love? Yeah. And and her name's Courtney Love right now. Yeah. So is it Courtney go Michelle? Michelle Love. Love. Okay. Well. It's yeah, Steve's I would go with Courtney that. Michelle yeah. Harrison. So that's what we're doing. But. You just switched up her first name. Tamagotchi is a Japanese portmanteau of what two words? I don't even know what what is a portmanteau. A portmanteau like of com- two com- words. Is that egg and watch? Tamagotchi is supposed to be like pocket monster or something like that. Well, okay. So that's the question. Is it egg and watch or egg and computer? Egg and watch. I think it's egg and watch too. Yeah, but Rocco, this cool. is your call. I had like six No, I would go egg and watch. Yeah. Oh, this was mine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is right. the oh, name of the house cat, aka Christina Ritchie? 
moves what is the name of the house cat aka christina ritchie moves into in the 95 movie casper whipstaff manor blackington manor oh my gosh i think that's we, you though yeah that's me i th- i think i don't know the camera i think tough, i think i don't it's, remember the name there yeah i'm gonna have to call you guys back real quick okay yep i think it's whipstaff i don't think it's blackington that just doesn't sound like I'm trying to like go into my memory Sorry. database and see if I can like remember what that name is. I, I honestly don't. Whip, whip staff just I like, lost the question. Whip oh, staff. Uh, what is the yeah, name of the house that, that Cat moves into in the 95 movie Casper? Who's okay, played by one more Christina time. Ritchie. What is the house that the movie takes place in? That she moved into? Yeah, in yeah. the 95 movie and did Casper. You, did you already say it? Because I know this one. Oh, it's oh. Whip, whip Staff Manor or Blackington Manor? Whip Staff Manor. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. We all went with that. I think you just listened to us and you just. What was the hell? What was the name of? <coughs> I didn't hear you. Steve, this is for you. What is the name of the judge who presided over the O.J. Simpson murder trial? Uh, mm. Cato or Ido? Neither. <laughs> I'm gonna say Judge Cato. That sounds better. Yeah, for whatever. I like Cato too. That's okay. Yeah, yeah let's go Cato. Let's go that word, that name. Okay, what was the name of the sheep who was the first successfully cloned animal in '96? Molly okay. or Dolly? Molly. <laughs> No. I think Dolly? I'm pretty sure it's Dolly. It was Dolly? I'm almost no, positive. No, it's your I call, it but Molly. I'm almost positive it's Dolly. All right. You go with Dolly. I'm going to go with Molly. All right, well, Molly, it's... you just want Molly because of this we'll, a drug. We'll go with Molly. I mean, no, this is your I call. But... I want with Molly because I'm pretty sure I thought the name Dolly was Dolly the, the sheep. It was the sheep, right? Yeah. It was Molly, Molly the sheep or Dolly the sheep. I don't remember it being Dolly. Okay. All right. What does the acronym JNCO, the brand name of their gargantuan gene stand for Janko. yeah judge okay. none choose one journey now carry on journey now carry on really? i would go with that oh. they're pants, actually wait right? judge you said judge, judge none choose one that doesn't really make sense i'm gonna sense, say judge none choose one really well maybe no. because like you remember Janko jeans yeah you remember those yeah, were like really they were like jeans. fucking baggy yeah. ass jeans yeah. i remember everyone wanted because they had They're like, like tons of pockets yeah. and everything yeah so maybe yeah. maybe judge none would be a good slogo because like yeah, you're but, probably yeah but choose one that's where i'm falling off i don't understand that i'm, I'm so going with the other, i'm gonna go with my first journey journey, journey now carry on. Go i think i think that, that's it's, more it's of a gene jeans. thing too. you're yeah. like moving yeah walking you're journeying yeah, totally a type. Yeah. all right steve yeah. who was not a member of the mickey mouse club carrie russell or jessica simpson carrie russell no, no, Jessica Simpson. I think it was Jessica Simpson, you too. You can't change yeah. them up. Because, no, it was because you had Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. I think even at one point, it was Christina Aguilera. Yep. Yeah, she. I don't think Jessica Simpson was in there, was she? No. They even had they had a bunch of people that were in there at one point. No, I don't think Jessica Simpson wasn't in there. No, I don't think she was What either. was the flavor of the soft drink surge? She's younger. Rocco, this is for you. Citrus yeah. or pineapple? Citrus. I mean, I will believe you. I haven't tried surge. Oh, Surge? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Surge? Yeah. Would you say what was the flavor? Yeah, citrus yeah. or pineapple? It was citrus. Okay. Citrus. Okay. Yeah. Who was the, Okay, this is for me. Who was the creator of Dawson's Thanks. Creek? JJ Abrams <laughs> or Kevin William Williamson? I Kevin. It has to be it can't be JJ Abrams. There's no, no way. No, he's too young. He's way too young. Yeah, there's no way. No. But if that's true, my mind is going to be blown. Well, yeah. He, he did it when he was five. Yeah. That's why he's so famous. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> all right, Steve. What was the title of Madonna's controversial 1992 book? Erotica or sex? I'm gonna say like with her. I'm gonna say sex. Mm. I'm going erotica. Yeah, that's erotica. Erotic. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm trying to think of her because she was like. Do you? It's your call. She didn't give a shit. Uh, okay, erotica. We'll go to erotica then. Uh, what complication was Y2K based on? Rocco, this is for you. At midnight, yep, all, all computers reset to the year 0000, Compu- or computers would interpret the year 2000 as 1900. Um, the first one. Uh, I disagree. I think it's the okay. second one. But we'll go with the first one. Okay. Which, <laughs> which band formed first, NSYNC or the Backstreet Boys? Backstreet Boys. Because they're a lot older. Yeah. yeah, I would go with the Backstreet Boys too. I, yeah. I believe they came out first. The hell, yeah, but it was. Yeah. The Hellmouth was a supernatural portal on which '90s TV show? Charmed, or Buffy the Vampire Slayer? 
Ooh. What was the portal called again? Hell this no. is me, right? Hell no, this is Steve-O. The thing is... Steve-O? This is Steve-O? I've watched both of these. I know. I'm pretty sure it's Buffy. The thing is, I've yeah. never... No, I've never I've never heard that in Buffy. They've the had thing portals was, is before. I like, no, but they Charm had much portals, more portals. Charm has a lot more portals. Yeah. The thing is, I've watched... <laughs> no, I've watched TV there is shows a, more there, portals. I watched Buffy the There is more TV portals in girl, Charmed. Because a girl in high school, I liked... It's funny she that liked know the show, that. and I wanted to watch a show to be able to talk to her. Steve, yeah. you don't have to make excuses it's on this. You just have to answer. Yeah. No, I'm serious. So I'm no, gonna say don't make excuses. Okay. We all watched Charmed and Buffy the Vampire that. Slayer. Who wrote the book The Firm in 1991? Stephen King? This is for you, Rocco. Or John Grisham? John Grisham did. Okay. Is this... Oh. Um, I just felt confident there. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> We're going with that one. C. <laughs> I'll okay. take C. Okay, okay. Um, one second here. I'll take three. Uh... Oh, I can't. Damn Jerry, it. just edit this out real quick. Jerry, yeah, edit this out. Thank, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to sh you, share screens here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is, Jerry. is this is this Beavis or Butthead? That is who is it? Who is this for right now? The, near the, you. This, this is for me. Is this Beavis or that's Butthead? butthead. That, that's definitely. That's definitely butthead. butthead. Okay. That is definitely Butthead. Click on that. Okay. Hit butthead okay. There. I gotta. Oh god. Now I gotta stop sharing. No, nope, stop sharing. Okay. Here we Hit go. Butthead. There we go. All right. It's butthead. It's butthead. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely butthead. Uh, the Rocco. Rocco's modern. Uh, uh, this is for you, Steve-O. Rocco of the Nickelodeon animated series and Rocco's favorite animated series, Rocco's Modern Life, was what kind of animal? A wallaby, a wallaby. or a mixed breed dog? It's a wallaby. Okay. Oh, by the way, just a little tidbit. They're actually relaunching the show. They I are. Know, I heard. You heard about that? Yeah. I did. I was like, oh gosh. Maybe Rocco, yeah. you'll appreciate this show. Because it was a good show. Around. Rocco, this, time. this is for you. What was the name of the Pentagon employee who secretly recorded phone conversations with Monica Lewinsky in which she talked about her affair with Bill Clinton? Was it <laughs> Paula Jones or Linda Tripp? Ah. Uh, Paula Jones. You were reading an article on this. The Paula other day. Jones is definitely who did that one. I was gonna say yeah. Linda Tripp, but okay. No, oh, Miss Jones. Trippy. I remember Miss Jones. She's trippy. She's gonna do that. Man. Which was the highest-grossing movie of the '90s, Titanic or Jurassic Park? Oh, pff, Titanic. That was everywhere. Yeah. High-grossing, like just in the U.S. or just everywhere. I, I guess. Uh, that one's for Clay, though. Oh, yeah, my gonna, bad. I think Titanic, honestly. I mean, there's a reason why. I mean, it still holds the He's number like one record cutting. today. So. Yeah. Steven's a cutting, a cut line kind of guy. Steve, this one's so, for you. That. Which future? Yeah, because it, go, it goes Passions of the Christ, and then it goes Titanic, pretty much, I think. Oh, Jesus. Which future Oscar winner starred on Beverly Hills 90210? Charlize Theron or Hilary Swank? Man, I didn't know any of that. I'm going to say, say Hilary Swank, because I don't think Charlize Theron was in that at all. Rocco, what so, was yeah. the name of the prostitute who Hugh Grant got caught with? Alex Diamond or Divine Brown? <laughs> Divine sounds like a prostitute name. Yeah. Alex Diamond sounds They're both like very Oh, that actually like. sounds... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which film Diamond. was the first ever animated movie to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture? Beauty and the Beast or Lion King? Is that me? Uh, uh, it's me. I'm going to say Lion King. There's a reason I why would they go made with that. a Broadway yeah. play, right? <laughs> Who sang yeah. the Friends theme song, Steve? The Re the Rembrandts or Gin Blossoms? The Rembrandts. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one as well. Gin Blossoms is a girl. Uh, uh, Rocco, uh, what yeah. event did Michael Jackson have on stage kiss with his then wife Lisa Marie Presley? At what event did he have this kiss? The '94 yes. MTV VMAs or the '94 Grammys? I said oh. the '94. VMAs. I would agree. It's very much an MTV yeah. thing to do. In yeah. 97, yeah. who became the first woman to be appointed at the Secretary of State in the United States? Madeleine Albright or Janet Reno? What was that one again? In 97, who became the first woman to be appointed as the Secretary of State in the United States? Was it Janet Reno or was it Madeleine Albright? I think it's Janet Reno. I'm going to say Janet Reno too, yeah. I wasn't going to say anything. Cause Sounds I'm, like a strong name. No, it's Janet Reno. <laughs> Clueless steve-o is loosely based on which jane austen novel emma or sense and sensibility sense sensibility because this movie's called senseless isn't it it's called clueless it's called it is clueless. clueless but 
If you watched it, they're all senseless. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Tr- Rocco, Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore <laughs> played which scandalous tabloid figure in the made-for-TV movie? Did she play Tonya Harding? Tanya Harding? Is that what it was? Or yeah, Amy Harding. Fisher? Tanya Harding. <laughs> okay, <let's laughs> I don't, don't know that one. <laughs> what did... Like not even close. Oh, my God. Okay, I know this one. <laughs> I mean, there. What did Lorena Bobbitt do to her husband? Oh. Held him captive in a basement or cut off his penis? Yeah, yeah. Chopping, everybody chopping knows that, that one. Yeah. Which Jim Carrey guys. guys. <laughs> yeah. Steve, which Jim Carrey film came out first? The Mask or Ace Ventura Pet Detective? The Mask. Cool. Uh, Rocco. That's a good one, though. Yeah. That is a good it's one. It's The Mask, no. Damn, yeah. look at this. Because he got really popular from The Mask. Mm. And then it was Ace Ventura. Uh, Rocco, in Reality Bites, Winona Ryder's character, Lelena, de- declares that she won't work for which retail chain? The Gap? Bennington. What, what was this from? Reality Have Bites. Oh, never even seen it. So I'm going to go with, what was the choices? The Gap or Benetton? She was working at the Benetton. I think so, yeah. The What's 90, the Benetton? I don't know. <laughs> the 96, because I don't, I don't think it's like Gap. A, cause like, I, feel like I just don't I think it's Gap. It. I feel like it's going to be like a higher level like drama kind of situation going on of some sort. The 96, you know? the, Benetton. the 96 Summer Olympics were held in which U.S. city? Atlanta or Dallas? That's for you, Clay, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Atlanta. I'm going to say Dallas. I'm not sure when they were held here. 96. Do you guys remember the Olympics but it being looks, around you? But it looks Atlanta, old Georgia. Where, where they had it here. Where were they holding in Atlanta, though? Why? In downtown. No, they, where were they? Downtown. downtown. Really? Yeah. By the stadium? Yeah, they, have, like, they have a... I'm pretty sure Atlanta. Like a big thing there. Yeah, it was, yeah. there was in a... I just don't know if it was that was in the 90s or in the 2000s. They would so. have it like in a dome? They had it all over the city of Atlanta, all different stadiums. Oh, okay. they had. That's true. A right. portion of whose ear did Mike Bison bite off during a boxing match, Steve? Holy Evander Holy. Holyfield or Lennox Lewis? Oh, no, it was Hol- Holyfield. Yep. Holyfield. He Holyfield, did it sure. again, though, to like Lennox Lewis, though. <laughs> oh, did he really? Jesus. Yeah, he did. He bit, he did he bit his time. ear. Yeah. The movie, he didn't 10 Things thing I Hate off. About You, Rocco, was based on which Shakespeare play? Much Ado About Nothing? The Taming of the Shrew. Um, the Taming of the Shrew. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Which '90s toy popular? Which '90s toy? Jesus, it just says '90s toy popular with girls was eventually recalled because it caused too many injuries. Skip it or Sky Dancers? Oh, Skip It was so cool. Yeah. The one you put on your, your ankle and you slide it around. It, okay, I know, know this one. one. No, I mean, I don't know what Sky Dancers is. Sky Dancers is like the thing right that now. you like, you, you, like you, you pull back pull. and it like flies up in the air and then it lands. But I think I think it was hitting children's eyes because they were yeah. like looking up at it as it was coming down and they were being sent to the I hospital. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so sure yeah, I'm going to say Sky Dancers then. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I would go with Skip It. Because I remember, I remember Skip when you got hit. Because I see Skip It like... Well, not it didn't that get it recalled because Skip It is still being made. Sky but Dancers Skip It's were like, well, Sky Dancers still kind of, well, not the like little, well, they still kind of are. They're like little helicopter looking things right. now that you pull for kids. But like the Skip yeah. It, I just, all I see with the Skip is you put it on the, you're trying to do the Skip It the whole time while you're like walking down a hill or walking or going places and you bust yourself up like by tripping yourself essentially. Maybe. All right. There's yeah. 50 of these Maybe. and we're on 37. Are the people are trying to read right. the little like yeah. Skip Encounter? Right, what is go, the name go, of the go. high school in Boy Meets World? John Abrams High School or Liberty High School? It was Liberty High School. I thought it was John Abrams. Steve, oh, this is your John Abrams. It was John, <laughs> John Abrams. Okay. okay. I didn't watch Boy Meets World. Oh, for fuck's sake. What was, I the, know, Rocco, I know. what was the real name of the mysterious Unabomber? It was actually J.J. Abrams. Eric, what? Eric Men- Menda- Menda- Menendez? Or th- for what? For who? Theodore Kaczynski. What was the real name of the mysterious Unabomber? Theodore Kaczynski or Eric Menendez? Who gets all these names? <laughs> or the first guy? Yeah, no, it, okay, it's 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 Kaczynski, but is that what I said though? Right? No, Theodore you said Kaczynski? Um, okay, sure, yeah. Which of the these is guy? not a Jonathan Taylor Thomas movie? The Adventures of Pinocchio or Jungle to Jungle? Adventures of Pinocchio. Yeah. Oh my bad, that was no. I was I was gonna say that anyway. What was Aaliyah's first single? Back and forth. Age ain't nothing but a number. Steve. I'm going to say back and forth. Yeah. 
When the iBook was released in 99, which was not one of the five colors available? Key lime or powder pink? Powder pink. Yeah. I agree with that. Because I believe that there was... There was the, a green. That green yeah. was there. And you were like, Ugh. Ugh. I was like, that's a gross. What was the name of Howard Stern's first book? Miss America or Private Parts? Private Parts. Private yeah. Parts, for yeah. sure. My bad. Yeah. That was fine. You're not. Whose name did Johnny Depp tattoo on his ring finger? Kate Moss or Win- Win- Winona Ryder? I He's pretty Kate old. Moss I'm going to say Kate Moss. Yeah. yeah. And plus, that's like an easier name to put on your finger. Yeah. Who was the Why first host right? of MTV's House of Style? Cindy Crawford or Claudia Schiffer? Claudia Schiffer. I was going to say Cindy Crawford. For, for MTV what? <laughs> House of Style. You're just picking. Oh, uh, House of Style. <laughs> I don't care anymore. All right, we'll go with Shepard. No, no, I do care. All right, they, I'm trying to think. House of Styles, I just don't know what that the is. The band Ace of Base was from what country? Sweden or Denmark? Ace of Base. I'm pretty sure they're from Sweden. We can go with Sweden. All right, let's do this. We're just going, we're just, we got five more. Let's do this. Which yep. album turned 20 in 2014? Dookie by Green Day or The <laughs> Benz by Radiohead? I remember Dookie by Green Day. Yeah, I'm going to say Green Day, too. 92, what fashion label was Mark Jacobs fired from for his infamous grunge collection? Joffrey Bean or Perry Ellis? Perry Ellis. Let's do that. That's what I, I know don't more. know that one. What yeah. toy created as a prop in Home Alone 2 actually became a real toy due to popular demand? Talk Boy? The or Talk you, Boy. Yeah, Boy. Yep, it's definitely. On Saved by the Bell, what is Screech's proper name on the show? Samuel Powers or Seth Finkelstein? I'm going to say Seth Finkelstein. That sounds Screech? more like a, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with that one, too. That sounds like a nerd name. What is yeah. what is a baby G? A doll that made realistic baby noises? A band of watches popular with 90s girls? I'm going to say band of watches. Baby G? We got 29 out of 50, out of 50. right. So that's more than half. Okay, so we, we all lived through it, but we only know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> or mine. some notable ones that we were wrong. Uh, was Jagged Little Pill actually got more? Uh, wait. For for the Spice Girls? Yeah, Jagged Little Pill actually got more. Goodwill Hunting was the best screenwriter. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Whack Crawled Around the World was actually the attack on figure skater Nancy Kerrigan. Um, okay. It was it was Ido for the O.J. Simpson judge. It was Dolly, not Molly. Uh, okay. Jenka was Judge Nun. Judge Nun, choose one. Um, Sex one. was the no, actual was right book from Magan. One. Yeah, uh, sex was the name of. Yeah, Madonna? I thought it was erotica. Oh, really? It's crazy. Yeah. Um, See, so yeah, what? Uh, computers were inter uh, were, would interpret the year two thousand as nineteen hundred, which I remember. Okay. Backstreet Boys were <laughs> created first. Hellmouth was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, <sighs> let's see. It was Linda Tripp, not Paula Jones. <laughs> Um, Divine Brown, not Al- Alexis Diamond as the... I feel, I feel like these are all the Divine mine. <laughs> Beauty yeah. These are all mine. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was right, not Lion King, so I was wrong. That wasn't mine. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't mine. Uh, Malden I- Albright was the Secretary of State, not Janet Reno. It was, was Emma, mine. not Sense and Sensibility for Clueless. Um, that was Ace Ventura came out first, not The Mask. And what? it was The Gap, not Bennington. Uh, oh, then we went on a really great streak. It Jungle to Jungle... Which is not a Jonathan Taylor the Thomas movie. Jungle to Jungle is not a Jonathan. T- that had. Oh, it is. Wait, the other one was. Uh, What's yeah, the other it's one? Yeah, true because had it had Pinocchio. Yeah, who was it the had, Pin- um, his yeah, father from. Uh, which yeah, is what got from me. from Home Improvement. Yeah, yeah, Damn, Jungle to Jungle. Yeah. Um, it was with Minota Reiner that he got the tattoo of, not Kate Moss. It was Cindy Crawford, not Claudia Schiffer. Um, and his name was Samuel Powers, not Finkelstein. Everything else we were right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Everything and Nothing Show. We uh, do this every week. Each one of us, Maelstrom Gamers, we hop on the Skype and we bring five topics for your entertainment. And each of those topics are its own separate video on our YouTube channel. You can get all those free at youtube.com slash Maelstrom Gamers channel. And check in on Saturdays where we release all the videos as one big giant episode. And look, if you'd like to support us and give us as little as a dollar, um, you can go on to patreon.com slash Maelstrom Gamers channel. Or sorry, slash Maelstrom Gamers. And uh, you can just give us a one-time uh, $1 tip. If you happen to watch this, find something entertaining yeah. about us. It'd be really helpful. Just a tip. Just, just a, tip. a tip. Just to see how you know just that feels tip. like giving 
us. Yeah, just stay yeah, up, Phil's for a second. Yeah. Just uh, on top of that, uh, there's three ways to support us. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, like, like a lot of you guys are doing, so keep that up. Thank you very much. Uh, and, yeah, we want to hear from you. So until next week, keep thinking about everything and nothing. It's been an honor to entertain you. And a pleasure. I completely peace. blanked out. Say, where is he going? Take that one? Peace, peace and take care. <laughs> Chicken gravy. I thought he. I thought he froze for a second. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were supposed to say something. So that's why I just went honor. Peace. I was like honor. Um, honor. It's uh, you, honor. die, fellow sir. Hey, honor. Honor.